Good afternoon. It is February the 1st, 2017. We'll start with our usual disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations. Unlike an actual performance record, simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have under or overcompensated for the impact, if any, of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, we came in with the E-mini this morning thinking we'd have a trading range because of the FOMC meeting. Cell number one was 84 to 86. 75 to 77 was buy one. 70 to 72 was buy two. Our 77, 75, 77 buy one, a scratch at best. When the trade we were talking about, uh, we talked to that trade, that trade, this trade I passed on, said this trade was a good one. No trade here, uh, no trade on that buy, another retest failure S. Then Nancy's tweezers off the low, good short covering here. Comes up, monkey trade. For a little, not much. Then we have the FOMC announcement kind of all over the map. Nancy's tweezers, S. Nice trade. Nancy's tweezers, good for a point. So pretty good trading when it was all said and done in, in the E-mini today. Uh, we hit resistance really, really well. We hit support well. Um, and you can do that when you understand structure and you let the profile work for you. These high volume, low volume numbers, the shape of the distribution, etc. And that's where we want to take you. Our objective is to teach you how to trade, not to trade for you. Looking at the F1 screen, higher low, higher high. Can trade from the long side tomorrow. Looking at the F2 screen. Pretty much a B all day, but we're in a trading range. Uh, we've got a buyer in that 65 to 70 area, and we've got a seller uh, at 83 to 87 right now in this area. A structural sell would be a limit sell at 86.75 right against that low right there. So the FOMC spoke today. They gave no guidance on an interest rate increase in March. Um, Somewhat helpful. Uh, we have a little bit of news tomorrow. We have jobless claims 253. Productivity plus 1.2%. Uh, the economists pay attention to this. The market doesn't. Unit labor costs up 1.8%. We'll see com comments if that number comes in that high about the return of push inflation and natural gas inventories minus 119 last week uh, probably won't be probably would be similar for this week uh, we, we're called pretty much where we have been um, for want of anything else the focus is going to be jobless claims okay our cell last rotate up this morning was 78 uh, so 75 78 cell 1 80 to 83 cell 2 on the buy side, 69.71 by one, and then 64.66 by two. Forget how powerful big dogs are. Um, Charlie's off the wall, and he does weigh 55 pounds, and he's only a pup. He's going to get bigger, but he breaks things. I mean, he just collides with it as fast as he can go, and doesn't seem to bother him. He seems to like it, and um, so he broke a um, wooden stave oak planter today, and was having a great time tearing the um, the staves out of it. My boy, Charlie. have to talk to him about that. But they are fun to watch, even though the puppies are more than a handful. 
10-year note, lower high, lower low, can find a place to sell it. A lot will depend on the E-mini. Um, today's uh, FOMC report was neutral, but if you read about the um, inflation moving up, not to Fed limits, um, if you read about uh, uh, jobs increasing, um, economic growth, uh, you probably aren't too excited about owning Treasury. So uh, we're in a trading range right now, but it is trying to sell uh, so we're at nine right now we'll just keep the same cells 11 to 15 19 to 23 worked out pretty well for us this morning on the buy side uh, 29s to 01s buy one and 21 to 25 buy two a little more aggressive on the sell side from what I see right now as long as we can stay below 16. If we get above 24, 16, then we have to come back and think about it. Don't you hate it when I say that? But this is a game of continually reassessing what's the market doing, what's it trying to do, and how well is it doing it? And those are the questions. Those, those questions are really key uh, to you being successful at this game. You really have to sit down and zero in on um, reality, what's facing you. And if you come at it with uh, too strong an opinion, you can get killed because you'll stick with it too long. 20 to 24, number one. 27 to 31, sell one. And then 3 to 7, number two, that is resistance. On the buy side, um, Four to eight, twenty-nine to oh one, and uh, we'll let them go get stops below today's lows. We'll make seventeen to twenty-one by two. Gold um, it had surprising strength um, yesterday and um, held those gains today. We had an inside day, so there's a seller 15 to 17. Inside day means trading range without a new piece of news. We don't have a lot of news tomorrow. It is still golden week in the Orient. Uh, so. 12 to 15, sell 1. 19 to 21, sell 2. On the buy side, um, 4 to 6, buy 1. 1200, 1202, buy 2. And gold was the easiest trader we had today. the best setups. Don't forget gold if you like crude. The same methodology applies. Rich Genders uses a $10 stop. I don't think that's wide enough. In my experience, uh, I would have survived more trades with a $12 um, and had them come back and work as envisioned than I did with a $10. Pretty easy to get for me to get when I was doing it. Knocked out on $10. Higher low, higher high. In crude, uh, I'd like to say it's trading on vapors or fumes, but I won't use that illusion. Um, 5375, 54, so one. 54 and a quarter, 5450, sell two. On the buy side, we're at 50. Last rotate down stopped at 10, so 53, 53 and a quarter by one. 52 and a quarter, 52, 50 by two. Like the number one sell, number two buys fine. Number one buys could hold, but um, not as comfortable with that.
and the euro. Well, there's a real advantage to living on Greenwich Mean Time, Universal Time, as they call it right now. Even Great Britain lost that. I mean, I think under uh, Theresa May, I need to come back and grab that. Which is Universal Time. Well, Charles, didn't you know that the UK and Great Britain, universal, the universal country, a country for all nations, something like that. Inside bar on today, trading range on the euro. And on the F2 screen, got a seller at eight and a quarter, and right now 107.50. So, 50 to 60 by one, seven and a quarter by two, 108 even, sell one, 820 to 830, sell two. That number's worked out pretty well for us. That's it for this February the 1st, 2017. I will see you all bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening.